All right, in the key of C. One, two, three. Four. I want to show you how to take the most important lick in the world and convert it to something a bit faster. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to move it up to the key of C, just because it's a nice key and because the frets are a little closer together. And uh, here's the phrase. Let me get it in your ears one more time. Sixteenth notes. One, and two, and three. And four. It's using all notes of the pentatonic scale, the C minor pentatonic scale, until the very end. The very end, we're going to throw in a note from the blues scale. But the first part, it's this looping figure, taking five notes. Is that five? One, two, three, four. That's four notes. Sorry. Uh, four notes from the C minor pentatonic scale. We're going to go C. Two notes. You know these already, if you know the pentatonic scales. So Oh my goodness, what is that one? B flat and G. And then down to your F. I apologize for you know unfamiliar guitar territory. That's it. We'll go down and then back up. Using hammer-ons and pull-offs. Now the thing here is I'm gonna help you to not get tangled up with the picking. This is the big deal of this lesson, is how not to get tangled up. You know, sometimes the, the idea is like, well, it, it's morally superior to pick every note. Not if it sounds bad and gets you tangled up. At a slower tempo, anything will work. But we, we want to make this faster and smoother and just have it work. We're going to start with an upstroke, then a downstroke. So far, the first two notes picking everything. But then we're going to get give our right hand a break and do that pull-off. Now, it's a, it's a real pull-off, and this is the, the biggest issue I've seen with my students that struggle with this, is they're not actually doing a real pull-off, they're just sort of like taking the, the finger off without pulling. So I don't know what you'd call that, a, an, it's just an off without the pull. So it needs to be a real genuine, uh, you know, snap. You need to put some, some force into it. Now, where does that force come from? This is a little teeny weeny tiny finger that's hard to get a lot of force out. So you're going to use a larger body part to make it work. What is that part? It's the wrist. You're going to twist your wrist. That's what's driving the pinky. So the pinky itself just sort of locking into place. You don't have to depend, depend on these tiny little joints to, to do the job. It's the wrist that's doing it. You can practice with trills. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of motion, you know, you won't, you won't see my hand going, you know, some crazy thing, but it's, it is the wrist. It's, you know, it's all this, you know, it's the larger parts that are making that happen. So anyway, sorry for that detour, but it's important. Up, down, strong pull off with the pull, and then you get to pick another note. Out of those four notes, three of them are picked, so it's not, it's still morally, you know, three out of four. That is so much easier and sounds so much better than trying to pick everything. It just just tangles you up. So this is this will untangle you. Just easy. And I like things when they're easy. That's that's the secret of fast playing. If it's easy, you can play it. You can speed it up. So it's up, down, pull off, down. That's the secret to life with that lick. Now, once we get to the bottom, what was our last stroke there? We went we went up, down, down. We ended with a down. Here's where this one comes into play. Remember what that was? It was, this is the same thing. You get to go down, up, hammer, so you even get a little break, and up. So it would be down, up, up, down, up, up. With that, again, with that hammer on in there, which will actually gives the right hand a little rest, so it's even easier. 
and then you combine them together, we do the descending. And it's just, the nice thing about this is it's so easy to do. To try to make it more interesting musically, I went, you know, descended, and then I jumped back up to the top. So you see how I did that? I went. So that last one, the transition is different because I go all the way down to the bottom and then I jump from there. And that's a string skip, but it's the same stroke. And I'll show you a little secret for string skipping, you can use your shoulder. And we can practice that. Just do this. Just rub this, this part of your hand on the strings. You're sawing a piece of wood. Or something. That'll, that'll help you get that string skip without having to, like, you know, suddenly have a magically longer thumb. So we have an escape route. We'll do a blues scale at the end. C minor blues. Starts off the same. And we've got those three notes. Put all those in C. It's always hard to figure out what the notes are. That is, well, let's just call it an F sharp. And F, I guess G flat. F and E flat. Poof, my brain explodes. But anyway, there they are. And C. So. Now this can be sped up. Let's let's find out. Let's see how quick can this go. I'm gonna use my, my neck pickup to smooth it out a little bit. That's pretty cooking along. You know, if you if you had like a. I'm making a guitar face as I'm playing that, but it's not because of the effort that I'm putting in physically. The effort is smooth and effortless. I'm just making the face because I'm digging it. All right, so I hope you dig it too. You know what to do. Rock and roll! Mm.